Welcome back. Happy hump day. I had a great time with Eric. Those back pages last night in the studio. If you guys missed that episode, we had a great chat on last night's stream. Just go to my channel, check that out after tonight's stream or a different day. Uh, so tonight should be fun. We've got a couple things. Um, I'm going to be painting a little bit. A Honus Wagner that I'm working on. Right now he kind of looks like Harry Potter because he had, it was like a canvas I had painted over. And then after I did like a primer layer, I decided to sand it down uh, just to smooth out the canvas a little bit. And so some of the old paint showing through. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, around 11 p.m., so in about a half an hour, uh, I'm doing an, an eBay auction. It's gonna go for one week. Uh, it's for these guys, Adopt a Minor Leaguer. Uh, they help and support minor league baseball players, which uh, really don't get paid pretty much anything from the clubs. So they're a great cause. Uh, I've worked with them in the past, and we are, will be auctioning a lot. That is a signed Beckett, a signed Mike Trout, a signed Mark McGuire that matches the Beckett, and a signed Jackie. All signed in black. So this is going to be, like I said, announced sometime tonight on the stream. The auction will start. It's going to go seven days, so I'll remind people uh, as the auction goes. And it'll end next Wednesday during the stream. I'll definitely be talking about it then. So if I don't, if I forget, remind me around 11 o'clock in a half an hour. Um, I should have the link to the eBay auction that I'm doing with Adopt a Minor Leaguer. Other housekeeping. Uh, the GoFundMe campaign for Lauren Taylor, aka Lauren Brem, has uh, been gotten off to a great start. I think she's at, let's see here, so far uh, 6,800 bucks of a fundraising goal right now of 15K. Um, I can tell you, I know personally that the medical bills that this is helping cover is a lot more than 15K. So I would like to exceed that. So I just wanted to remind everyone, and down below, the, uh, you know, in the description for this video, there's a link. I will put it here also in the comments. So, oops, that's not the right link. Uh, Lauren is an awesome artist. She's been on here with me uh, once. We're actually working on a collaboration project right now, which is awesome. And uh, she's just a great person. So I would, if you, uh, if it's possible, if you can help. And even if you can't contribute financially, even just sharing it is a really big deal. And uh, if you do, um, I just worked this out with her today. If y you find out about it, the, uh, GoFundMe through me, donate to that campaign, any amount, no amount's too small, everything helps. Uh, then, and if you just comment saying, you know, came from Blake's live stream or came from Blake, she will email you a promo code for 20% off of any of her prints which already are like very reasonably priced. She does very dope work. She's licensed with the MLB, so she has a lot of cool um, players that I haven't painted or at least haven't can't do prints of because I don't have the license that she does. So she's an awesome person. Support her if you can. Just trying to pay it forward. I've gotten so much help throughout the years and love to help other artists. So check that out. And then also Adopt a Minor Leaguer coming up. In the meantime, I'm gonna be starting to paint this. Uh, so I did the reference layer in black this time. I know I usually do it in silver. I wanted you guys to be able to see it. I know sometimes, depending on the angle, uh, silver can be really hard to see, like on camera. So I did it in black so that I can paint with you guys right there. I'll kind of be back and forth. Um, I, I'm gonna turn the microphone up, like more sensitive, hopefully, so that if I'm back there and I'm talking, you guys can still hear me. I know we've had issues with that in the past. Uh, at some point, I do need to get a lav mic, which would be very helpful if I was like moving around the studio and talking to you guys. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much the plan. Uh, I have my Griffey card coming out tomorrow, which is exciting. That uh, will be out at 1 p.m. Eastern on tops.com, up for two days. You guys know the drill. Wait till Matt's done with tape. Um, tight. Uh, so anyways, uh, that's gonna be awesome. For anybody watching last night with Eric and wondering about the borders, I did end up keeping the border. Um, I felt like I, when I painted the card, I didn't design it and I didn't size it the way that I would want if I was going to do a borderless card. However, 
My next card after uh, Ken Griffey Jr. tomorrow is Doc Gooden, and I think I'm going to do a borderless on that. So I do appreciate all that feedback and ideas I think are great. Eric, super solid idea because then centering will look perfect on every card. So I'm just going to cross my fingers and hope that Topps does a good job of centering uh, as many of them as possible. Um, yeah, boom Mike and make him f fall around. That would be funny. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, nice, Frank just got back from Pitt. That's awesome. Uh, let's see here. Can't wait for Frank's interview. Yeah, me too. That will be on Friday. Uh, Frank Murphy will be here in the building, and so that's going to be super fun. He will be the artist interview, which we'll do in person, which I think will be great. Um, pretty much it. I'm going to get to painting. If you guys have any questions, comments, ideas, um, I'm actually I'm very excited about this card for a bunch of reasons. Uh, it's public domain, so that's great, just like the Babe Ruth was that uh, F. Dot and I did. There's one version up there. And it's, uh, it's like one of the most iconic baseball cards, if not the most iconic baseball card in the hobby, in my opinion. So I have kind of a fun idea. I am gonna you know, paint it similar to the card. I have uh, some work to do. I gotta make the background a little more orange. And then I'm gonna do the skin tones and the, I think it's gray on the card and then the blue collar and stuff. And then I'm actually, I don't know that I'm gonna, I'm probably not gonna finish it tonight. Um, I'm going to kind of rough it up and I'm going to make the canvas look like a beat up card. So I'm actually going to paint, like I'm going to do a white border around it, like the border of a card. And then I'm going to round out the edges because a lot, like almost all of those cards are in, you know, have rounded edges and are in kind of messed up condition. And I'm actually kind of like I did earlier on this, prepping it from painting the last time is like I use sandpaper on it. And so it's hard to see from this distance, but there's actually like a lot of cool kind of texture and distressed look. So I'm going to do that on top of the original, um, like the art after I paint it. And then I've got some other cool ideas, which I'm going to leave the rest for a surprise, but it should be fun. Um, planning on probably at some point, potentially this week, just depends on how Griffey's going. Um, but I will be doing prints of this as well probably in two sizes again. Uh, I'm not really sure. I'm open. If you guys are interested in a print of it, let me know what size you'd be interested in and what if you want it on like art paper or um, a stretched canvas print, both of which look awesome. Speaking of awesome looking prints, the prints that I, I did with F dot uh, arrived. I can actually go get one of those. F dot prints uh, arrived and look awesome. They're on nice, uh, nice thick art paper, but they come rolled up. So I've got them laying down flat with a box on top uh, to kind of flatten them out. Uh, and then F dot will be signing here and I'll sign here and we'll number them here, numbered to 25. Those ones are already sold out, but if you do like prints of this, there are prints on canvas available, proathleteportraits.com slash collabs. So, uh, 18 by 24. So I know that 18 by 24, uh, I should have actually mentioned this before. For this print, the one, the original I'm doing is gonna be 24, it's 24 inches wide, bam, 48 inches high. It's very, this is a very big painting, uh, especially compared to like 18 by 24 that I did with F dot. But more importantly, the aspect ratio is one to two which is as close as I could find for a standard canvas uh, for the T206 cards that were like tall and skinny. Well, small and skinny. So as far as the sizes, we'd be looking at like, uh, could be, you know, 10 by 20, uh, 12 by 24. I'm not sure what other ones are standard. Um, I don't know, if tw uh, 18 by 36, or th the actual size of this, which is, 24 by 48. 
So those are some of the uh, um, uh, bah, bah, bah. those are some of the size options. Uh, I see Frank asked if some of the lower tiers arrive. So the lower tiers of that print are print d printed on canvas, which is already stretched and ready to hang. And those are drop shipped straight from the printer to each customer. These 25, because we're doing the dual auto, we had to get them shipped here first. So I believe that the all of the other tiers, um, Tess is helping me fulfill all those orders. Pretty much as they come in, we're submitting them. And so those should start arriving any day now because I, I ordered the 25 prints for F.9 on uh, Saturday and they're already here and they came today and then today's Wednesday. So we've been putting in orders as they go. People who ordered uh, with F dot in on uh, what was that Friday Thursday Thursday uh, their orders were submitted also starting on Saturday and so they should start getting you guys should start getting your prints I would say very soon uh, 12 by 24 canvas would be cool I think so um, so that's all 12 by 24 is also good because if you got an 18 by 24 blob Ruth you could have a, yeah, 18 by 24, then you could have a 12 by 24 next to it, it would be the same height, just a little skinnier, and that could look like a, a cool set. So I, actually, that's a great idea. Um, and let's see, so our other one was nine by, what was it, nine by 12 was the small size, I think, nine by 12, so then we could do six by 12. Uh, Yes, six, I think that's uh, I think six by twelve is it. I'm actually gonna write a note down for these. So this is Honus Wagner print sizes. So if we do six by twelve and twelve by twenty-four, that'll be good. Uh, yeah. Um. Da -da. We, oh, what else? Oh yeah, what's Matt, what Matt is working on is uh, we processed a ton of black autographs today, people sending in trouts and other cards, things to get signed, Beckett's, uh, you know, anything that, um, from last mail Monday. So we're trying to get that uh, processed and shipped out. Those are gonna be shipped out tomorrow. We're probably done, I don't know, what do you think? Like, it's like 20 packages at least, right? I guess Matt's gone. Andy's over there. I thought Matt was still back there. Um, what's up, Jason? How's it going? Uh, yes, uh, still want to see Blobzilla. That would be really good. And Blob Dylan. Uh, I'm super open to both of those collabs. I've also been researching more public domain images. And if you guys know of any that you think would be awesome, feel free to send them my way. Uh, I was looking at some Mickey Mantle stuff, and it's a little unclear. I have to do more research. There are some that say they're in public domain, but also were used on, I believe it was a Bowman. I don't know. Used on a card. And so I don't know if I can use that image. I'd have to like do more research, like I said. Um, but that's pretty much it. I'm going to start painting now. I will try and come back every, you know, every so often. Um, and then also, just a reminder... Um, Lauren's GoFundMe, I just put the other, another link in the comments for this video. Ooh, Blob Marley. Oh, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write these ones down too, just because FDOT will be back when we sign these prints. Uh, he's working, he's finishing up his Ichiro card, and so we're gonna do it this weekend, and that way we can get them all uh, ready to ship out probably on Monday. Monday, Tuesday for those guys. Uh, okay, so Blob Dylan, we got that. I do love Blob Marley. Blob Marley would be very cool. Um, yeah. Blob Ross also would be cool. Um, ta da. Yeah. Uh, Lauren and I, Grant asked what are Lauren and I working on. We can't share it yet, but as soon as we can, we will. It's going to be super dope. Um, yes, I will definitely share that when I can. All right. I'm going to go for it a little bit.
hope everybody's having a great night. That's right. Oh, I also, I had an idea. Wait, I'm going to turn this up. So I was thinking that I might do like another kind of uh, almost Bob Ross style uh, video, which I did during 90 Days to Moma. I did once, but I'm going to do one with like a, uh, what's it called? A free use public domain image like this. I'll make a stencil, photograph it, and then put like a digital file on the computer so you guys can download it, whatever size, even like eight and a half by 11, and then cut it out. So one night we'll do cutting and then another night we'll do like the background and then another night we'll do spray paint and I'll tell you guys everything of what you could buy um, locally if you wanted to do like a paint along Bob Ross style let me know in the comments too if that if that would be uh, is that something you might be interested in Tiny, tiny trees. Uh, let's see here. Playlists, do I have? No. Do not. All right, let's see here. If I go to YouTube, sound, library, okay, then I go here. Um, here we go. The 50 best songs, uh, top 10 YouTube songs. And we'll go here. Yeah, at home sipping paint. Exactly. Although we are doing sugar free September and we're starting early because it's the middle of August. So I'm drinking Canada Dries. And we're going through a lot of these, but they're delicious. It's been hard finding stuff to eat without sugar. Sugar isn't freaking everything. Um, but, ba. Close. I wonder if I can just go. Okay, we'll say got it. Um, we just play these. Let's see. We go to mood. Ah, uh, here we go. Genre. Okay, we'll do that and that. Okay. Can I click on these? Hey, it's something. All right, well, now we have some music straight from YouTube Sound Library. I don't know if when one plays, if, I think I have to probably probably have to like push play on every single one which is kind of annoying oh well it's something is that frozen no
Yep, every two minutes. Okay, well, oh. Great, it just keeps going. All right, rock on. I kept playing this time is not. Bring them balls. Of course. Step in and then it starts playing. Great. Whatever, I'll take it. I guess there's just a pause in between all the songs. That's fine. as well. Always be recording. Content.
Now if I come over there to change the song or press play, it's just going to start playing. So I'm going to hold off and stay strong. Probably. No. Okay. Wow.
kind of get out of the way of the painting. Okay, okay. What's up, everybody? Hope you're all enjoying Blake painting. And music this time. And the music. But now, with music. I was just doing a little dancing, but not yeah. too much. Cool. Yeah. There's no such thing as too much dancing, Matt. No, people don't want to see too much dancing from me. There's no such thing, bro. Okay. Okay, let's see here. One second, guys. Gonna get you this. Yep. Let's roll. Launch and send link when live. I'm ready to promote on stream. Okay, guys. So the adopt a minor leaguer uh, auction for these items. Bam, package deal um, is going live very soon. I just uh, sent a Twitter message to Adopt a Minor Leaguer. And uh, so just to kind of reiterate, so they help minor leaguers in need. Minor leaguers don't get nearly enough support, especially financially from the teams that they're feeding. So um, they help provide monetary grants and fan sponsors to ease the burden of the minor league life because it's very expensive to like have a full-time job training for something that doesn't pay sometimes at all. Uh, it also allows fans to build one-on-one -on -one relationships with their favorite minor league guys. Um, and so they're doing uh, memorabilia auctions on Twitter under the hashtag auctions for athletes. Uh, so that'll go live in just a second. I will put the... Um, uh, put the link down there. Also, just a reminder, uh, fundraiser for Lauren's Noggin. Uh, help support living artists, guys. There's the link again. Um, Matt, uh, or sorry, uh, Andy is working on a handbag. Andy. He can't hear me. Andy. Andy. He's working on a handbag. He's in the zone right now. He's got his ear pods in, locked in. Crazy, the music stopped also again, but this time it was convenient because I was here sitting talking. Anyways, he's working on a handbag. Okay, let's see, let's get this kind of out of the way of there. All right, back to painting. So it's hard to tell in that light back there, but this is actually like pretty orangey. So I'm just making the background a little more orange. Again, tough to tell with all the bright lights. It is what it is.
need tunes again. And of course I come here and it immediately starts playing. I don't get this, guys. It's crazy. I didn't even push anything. setting up the auction right now guys I'll put the link in just a second I just realized that this microphone is like right where my head is when I'm over there which is kind of funny oh well
goes for in between songs sometimes for its own reasons. Gotcha, gotcha. Don't know why. for so long and then I come over to the computer and then as soon as I'm over there it starts again. Let's see here. Yep. It's insane. Oh, I love two and ten. More my tempo. All right, let's see if we got that link yet.
put this in front of the super fan.
Uh, no, I have not ended the stream yet. Okay, great. So we have the link, guys. All right. Have the link okay so I just posted it up um, I'll be tweeting about this uh, sharing it on other um, channels and whatnot but uh, yeah so 99 cents auction get after it if you guys want to it's for a great cause so I'd really appreciate it I don't get any of the money which is fine all goes to a great cause to minor leaguers helping them out uh, which is gonna be awesome Nice, Eric's the first bidder. Excellent. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Huh, so I don't know what I should do. I'm waiting for that to, uh... Let's turn this down. Yeah, so there's the link. So that uh, acrylic is going to take a little while to dry because I kind of laid it on thick. But I did that on purpose because uh, after I paint the stencil, I'm going to like use sandpaper, rough it up, and then all the edges where like there's edges of paint is going to be kind of take off the top layer. So we're going to be able to like kind of see through the layers a little bit. Should be cool. That's my plan at least. Um, let's see, I'm also going to share Lauren's uh, fundraiser again. That's also Lauren's. Uh, thank you so much, TFTV. Uh, I appreciate that very much. I do like the pink background too. Oh wow, up to 125 bucks. That's great. I love it. So anyways, really appreciate you guys. Um... Another thing uh, today that I ordered that, uh, that I'm pretty excited about is I ordered some stickers. So I'm gonna start putting stickers in with anybody that gets autos or um, anything shipped from me, basically. It's gonna get a sticker. So I'm excited about that. Uh, I don't know, I just don't wanna rush this Honus because I want it to be super dope. I have like, I have a very clear vision of what I want. What's up, bro? From the card, so I'm probably just gonna wait. Well, no, it's super drying the Honus. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I just turned it on. Yeah, I hope they can. Uh, bidding's going well, up to 177, which is great. For what? For the uh, adopt a minor leaguer. Awesome thing. Yeah. Good stuff. This stuff. Sweet. Nice package. Sweet package. Sweet package. Yeah. Not one. Not, not two. two. Not three. But four. Well, yeah, four things. Four <laughs> that was, was awesome. Three, so I'm glad we kept going there. Yeah. Oh, did it just go up? To yeah, it just went up to. Yeah, Sweet. yeah. We just launched it too, which is awesome. Awesome. Uh, also, what's up, Todd Clark? Lauren Taylor, the GoFundMe. If yep. you can, please support it. Yep. If you can't, just share it. That would be awesome too. Exactly. We're up to 69 on that one, which is great. Nice, that's nice. 69.37. Which is great. I'll put that link here for you guys also. So what do you guys think? Uh, be curious. What do you guys think of having music on while I paint? Do you like it? Uh, I don't know what else to work on. Uh, 
I am very happy with how it's coming out, shaping up though. I think it's gonna be really cool. And it's gonna be a fun print as well. Uh, let's see here, bam, bam. My notifications here. I can probably turn that off. That already is off, okay, that's fine. need another one of those. I'm gonna go grab it. So we call this spicy soda here at the stew, which is cool. Sounds better than soda water. Uh, dun, dun. Checking the Twitterverse. Retweet this. I see someone sharing the, uh, thank you, Brett Howard, for sharing the eBay auction. Uh, let's see here, what else we got here? Awesome, retweet that. Just on a retweet spree. Phone's gonna die, that's okay. Yeah, so, I don't know, I think I really, I'll go check and see how uh, dry the thing is. Um, Blaberto Clemente, oh, I love that. Okay, I love that, I love that. I'm putting that into the dock of ideas. I like that. Uh, da -da. All right, let's see. Where's the auction at? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, wow. 227. That's great. I love it, guys. Really appreciate you guys. Tis. Very cool group that we, ha that we have here. You guys are too awesome. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys are ready. I'm putting this uh, for Lauren again in there. Uh, I hope you guys are ready for Griffey tomorrow. Uh, for those of you that didn't see it, uh, I can go grab it for you again. So there's Griffey for tomorrow. Bubblegum pink background, backwards hat. The necklace from the upper deck card should be dope. I wonder if uh, Tops has sent me those files, actually. Let's see here. Bum, bum. That would be from probably Brandon. Not yet. Okay, no assets yet. That's okay. I think we're good, guys. I think the music was fun. A Mets color Blake James and auto hat would be sick, James. Uh, yes, we uh, right now our manufacturer doesn't make that color, so we are talking to a different manufacturer that would have that color, which would be super dope. I totally agree with you. I would love to have it for all team colors. I would love uh, A's color. Uh, that would be so sick. Green hat, yellow brim white BJ 
That'd be dope. Uh, do I know what I'm doing, George Brett? No, not yet, sadly. Uh, my next card is Doc Gooden after Ken Griffey. Just found that out yesterday. And then my next card after that is Sandy Koufax. Should be fun, too. Um, yeah, thank you, Papino, man. I appreciate it. It, uh, it was a fun one. So there's like some fun details. Like I love the necklace. That's from the upper deck rookie. It's also iconic. But obviously I did the top rookie and then but I flipped the hat. I hoped I hoped that I was gonna be the first person to flip it. Mr. Cartoon did it a couple weeks ago. I think it was awesome. Um, can't hate on that. It's a great idea, as we know. So I decided to stick with it. It's pretty awesome. I love it. Alright guys, well that's pretty much it for tonight. An hour and 20 minutes, not bad. Um, I'm going to turn the fan off and then I'll sign off. We're gonna keep rocking. Might as well keep rolling with the music. Let's try this one. This is dancing electronic music, mood happy.
get you out of here to go live on IG too. Just gonna let it dry for a second and then hit with something.
Instagram, YouTube. Instagram, What's up, Graham fam? I'm gonna sign off the Graham. I'm still on YouTube though, youtube.com slash Blake Jameson. Uh, but I'm gonna wrap up there too. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to check out Adopt a Minor Leaguer auction on eBay, uh, on Instagram. I will put that in my bio tomorrow for, uh, for all this stuff. Bam, bam, bam. And a Beckett. And uh, also, um, if you go to my YouTube right now, I also have the link on that video for uh, Lauren Taylor, who's here on the stream. What's that, Lauren? Uh, for her GoFundMe to help with some bills. Sorry, this music's super loud. There we go. Anyways. All right, Instagram, I'm out. I'm still going to be on YouTube, but just for another couple minutes. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm, I think I'm going to start doing dual streams like this. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Third Dan Art. Yes, appreciate that. Support Living Taylor, uh, Lauren Taylor. Uh, what is up? Eat, Andrea. Eat, light. Anyways, thanks, guys. I'll catch you guys soon. Stay awesome. And, and, uh, download. Okay. Hey, you want to come show YouTube? Andy. Andy. He never sees me. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm calling your name. I want you to show the YouTube people too. Their purse. The bag. Yeah, show them. Sorry, I'm putting this uh What's up, guys? Uh, so I got a commission. Um, the guy had a Chanel bag, and uh, so far, just got that. But um, adding a little extra piece right over here. So stay tuned. Nice. <sighs> Hot. I don't think the AC's on. Oh, I gotta put this pan away. Thank you guys so much. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the music too while I was painting a little bit. That was fun. Uh, I will pause it though for now. But uh, yeah, that was awesome. Um, yeah, very cool bag, right? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, might still be working on this. I've actually got some more stuff in mind for this. And then uh, I'm gonna do some prints of it. And I'll do kind of like with FDOT I did. I'll do a numbered prints on paper signed. And then I'll do some unnumbered uh, prints on canvas on demand. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Love you all. Don't forget to please check out both Lauren Taylor, AKA Lauren Brems. Uh, GoFundMe, I just put that in the thing. It's also linked down below the video. And then also the YouTube auction for the Beckett and the three cards, which is at $227 right now, which I think is a steal, but also it's a great cost. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Love you. See you tomorrow. Stay awesome.